everyone. Happy 4th of July. I got the crazy old lady joining us today for today's episode. We are here at Coney Island and no, not Coney Island, New York, although I wish I could make it all the way to New York to experience that place. This is Coney Island in Cincinnati. I've never been, neither of us have ever been here and um, they used to have rides and I didn't get to check out the park before they took out all the rides, but we're going to experience their 4th of July balloon glow and fireworks right here on the Traveling Man. Let's do it. All right, everyone. Well, my very first impressions of Coney Island um, are very positive. It's a very nice looking park. It's well manicured and I just kind of like how it's uh, all shaded. All right, let's take a look at the map of the park. This is Coney Island. I think we are in Parker's Grove. That's the section that we're in. And see, it's not a tiny place. Um, looking at it from the, uh, the highway, you would think that it's not very big, but it is fairly big. So a little bit of history on this place. Um, Coney Island actually predates Kings Island, which is the major theme park that's up near in Mason, Ohio, by where I live. And they really actually took a lot of the rides from um, Coney Island back in the day, like the roller coaster and, and some things, and moved it to Kings Island. They used to have um, some kind of minor, smaller rides, like a small little roller coaster and stuff. A um, few years back, they took all of that stuff out, and it really sucks, but this is a very historic park, so it's awesome to get to be here. Yeah, they got a lot of really nice pavilions at this uh, at Coney Island. Wow, look at the line for La Rosa's Pizza. It's really not all that bad. But compared to all the other food places, it is bad. And they got this Kona Ice, tropical shaved ice thing. Never had one of those. I know, I'm lame. So for everyone that is not from Cincinnati, this is La Rosa's Pizza. I guess they have this throughout. It's like a, like a local regional thing. They have some in Columbus and, you know, near Cincinnati. But you've never had... <laughs> La Rosa's pizza before. Five dollars for a slice, although they are really big slices. That is kind of outrageous, but still better than the Pizza Hut pizzas at Target for seven dollars for the little thing. But what do you think about the pizza? It's really good. They have a lot of tomato paste on it and it's just it's delicious. So here's a look at their mini golf course at Coney Island. Very nice course, nice and shaded. I kind of like it. And then back behind that, I think this is their main pavilion. We're going to take a look at that, too. OMG, we got funnel cakes. It's a funnel cake alert. Can't get up close enough to see them, but oh, man, funnel cakes are amazing. Oh, what is this? Oh, my gosh, they have a Mr. Peanut, a planter's peanut mobile. Oh, my gosh, look at this. This is amazing. It's like the, the Oscar Mayer Wiener mobile, which um, they have one at the uh, Henry Ford Museum in Michigan. That is just so cool. I have never seen one of these before. I didn't even know this existed. That is cool. Yeah, this is their main pavilion and I really like um, how just old school it looks. The architecture of it is like very early 1900s, maybe all the way up until like the 30s. Wow. So this pavilion that we're taking a look at is the Moonlit Pavilion, and it's located next to the administrative building or administration building. And I like the architecture of this place. It's so old school. This looks like it would be their main concession stands for the park. Of course, they're not open right now. And then we've got the uh, Lake Como is out here. Now, Lake Como is also where you can catch the storybook paddle boats, which are like dragons and swans that you paddle around the lake. It's actually a pretty big lake. Doesn't look like it when you're uh, out on the road, but it is fairly big. And of course, Skyline Chili's being represented here. Um, in my opinion, bleh, I think it's disgusting, but um, if you like it, that's fine. 
just not for me. Um, grew up with Coney Islands in Detroit, so just not a fan of that. They've also got more food uh, vendors down here as well. So it looks like we've got funnel cakes and cotton candy as well as popcorn. So over there you can see that's their water park, the uh, Sunlit Adventure. We're not going to check that out today. Um, maybe on another episode we will. And I think if I remember right, most of the rides used to be back over um, behind or near that big building over there. But I don't remember because I have never been here. I've only seen like videos of the place.
Thanks for stopping by to check out the Coney Island Balloon Glow and Fireworks. For more awesome content like this, subscribe and check out the Patreon link on screen or in the description box below. And I'll see you on another episode of The Traveling Man.